as we stand here in front of our district's symbol of advocacy, first and most importantly, we want to give our sincere condolences to the Fletcher's family for their untimely loss. This county should be proactive and above reproof in any action pertaining to lethal force by any city or county law enforcement agency in order to obtain that, the, that level of accuracy, accountability and transparency, official statements addressing any local law enforcement actions should be to the public made expeditiously. Thus, when these entities forementioned conduct themselves in this manner, it will curb concerns, speculations, and distrust amongst the residents of Madison County. Therefore, as responsive and confidently offers the R to utilize lethal force administratively, we should be equally responsive and confident to release all relevant and captured footage. And that is my statement. Thank you. Any questions you think? Yeah, yes. So what do you, sir, I guess you said you want them to release the body camera footage or any other um, parts of the investigation. Can you tell us why you think that's, they should do that? Well, one, we want to make sure that everything is transparent. We don't want to get into a situation where we are acculturated or we, are, we assume things and have speculation. We need to have official statements from either the city or and or the county commission to be able to address these things because these are issues that affect the entire county no matter what city in which you live. Have you been uh, talking with a lot of people that are feeling distrust because they haven't seen body cameras or footage? Well, yes, you can look, you, it, not only just verbally talking and one-on-one -on -one and personally, but also through social media you also can see that there is a deep desire for the community to understand what is going on. And in order to do so, we need somebody with a non-biased opinion, a non-biased opinion ability to be able to view our, this footage, to be able to at least give us some idea of what truly happened. And in order for us to still be a great city and a great county, we, not, we must have that level of transparency. You're running for the county commission, is that correct? Yes, now, county commission at District 6. Sheriff has a distinct office from the county commission, but would your position be as a county commissioner that any lethal force incident, body camera footage would be released? Well, in this particular situation, what I'm saying is, is that when there's a level of speculation, if you're not going to release the body camera footage to it, to public, to the public, at least allow some public officials to be able to view it so that they could come out and make a statement to give the public itself some reassurance. It's a little bit complicated, but where would you draw that line that you just described? Why not, just as a matter of course, release it publicly? What would be reasons for concern, do you think? Well, we would have to, we would have to talk to, we would have to deal with those things case by case basis, but this particular case is the one that's the most pressing right now. And so for future, we would think that we probably would set up some kind of commission or set up some, some format where we'll be able to address this at all times and we won't have this level of ambiguity going on. What makes this case different than any of the other cases where officers have to have shot and killed somebody? Well, I was t well for me right now is that the place, the timing, and some of the social media things uh, that have been made by uh, the family members, and plus we need to know what happened because it's it, this is a real person. This really happened, and that's something you have to understand. So we don't want to be a county that get caught up and continuously doing these things. We don't know if it's a necessary for, for to have uh, de-escalation training. We don't, so this case here, we don't want it just to be something that falls to the side and it be just today's news and then we find something else to look into. So we're going by this case right now. 